Day 13 was the beginning of the Mazetta, part of the Camino which can only be likened to a desert. <laughs> oh no, he runs! In the summer it stays nearer to 40 degrees Celsius during the day, with absolutely no shade along the way. There's a small albergue, Sambal. It felt like a slice of heaven when we found it for a quick break. Once in Hontanus, it was ridiculously difficult to find a room, and we saw some pilgrims turned away. But we were lucky enough to get a room, and so we swiftly went off to find the pool. This is a big pool. It is a huge pool! <laughs> I'm currently walking to Bordillo de Camino. Um, and I'm pretty much walking through what I consider to be no man's land. You can see some green and yellow behind me, and that's sunflowers, and that's the only bit of life that seems to grow here. And that's all I've seen for the past two days, other than pilgrims. Um, yesterday was a ridiculously hard day. The sun was just beating down on us. There's absolutely no shade in this region. For about three days, we expect to not have any shade while we're walking. So, yesterday took me nine hours, when it would have usually t only taken me six. Today, I left at five o'clock in the morning, and I walked ten kilometres before the sun actually rose. So that I didn't have to walk through the heat that I walked through yesterday. It's got really, really hard though, with the heat in this region in comparison to everywhere else so far. As you can tell from the strain in my voice whilst I'm talking. Um, it got hard. The albergue we stayed in once we reached Bodilla del Camino was En El Camino. It was a really beautiful place and probably one of my favourites along the way for various reasons. The building was a really homey place with a cosy sitting area. The hospitaleros were super friendly and they had this fantastic garden with a small pool to cool off in. We chilled in the garden till the rain started and got our friend Florian to draw himself. Before we went inside to plan the journey for the next day and then head to bed for another early start. Every time I walk past the bus stop I think, oh. <laughs> it looks lovely, look at it. It looks lonely, like it might need someone to sit with it. <sighs> Along the way, we would frequently stumble across some very confusing signage, and you often had to just guess which one was right. On the horizon, I can see the city that I'm headed to. The first thing that always comes in view is the church. Today is, I believe, my 15th day walking and I have just feel like I've hit a wall. In the mornings I just don't want to get up, it's just not fun anymore. And I've heard a lot of people talking about a two week wall. So once you've done two weeks you feel so tired and like you could go home. And if that is a thing, I've definitely hit that wall. Yesterday, when I arrived at the town, I literally was in tears because the walk just, it went on forever. Once you left the second to last town, it felt like the next town, it just felt like it wasn't disappearing, you weren't getting further away. And then once you were walking, you walked over a hill, and then you were walking towards your final destination. And it just wasn't getting closer. You were walking and walking and walking, and it never seemed to get closer. Next week on El Camino Diaries, we cook together, we sing together, and we find a river to swim in. <laughs>